Hello my friends of Hattery Labs, my name is Omar Motoya, please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to do a ion exchange a model, geochemical modeling with Frixi in Aquifer App. Okay, so what is an ion exchange? I have a picture here. Okay, so when you have an aqueous phase you have a elements in the solution but you also have the porous media and the porous media is a exchanger or can be defined as a exchanger where it uh, has some cat uh, cations or in this case some yeah cations on the outside okay that can be interchanged with cations of the solution okay for example uh, for example in this case uh, the exchanger can release calcium and sodium okay but can also take some uh, cations from the solution okay so we are going to simulate that in Frixi using the uh, using the exchange keyword okay so let's see uh, okay so we need to create a new text file it's a normal text file that will be in this case ion exchange dot uh, in okay it has to be in otherwise it can be recognized by Frixi in aquifer app okay great and then we open that uh, we well, we open that in any editor, okay? And then we are going to, okay? So it needs to have a title, okay? So it will say groundwater, okay? And then the solution will be the first solution, okay? So the units will be millimol per liter. And the pH will be seven. The alkalinity is twelve point five millimoles. Okay, I'm going to do the translation between millimoles and moles. Okay, and this kind of uh, it will be again kind of painful, but is well, it's the only way that we can understand the results of here. Okay the sulfur Okay, and now we use this change where we define the, the surface is actually is called X. So we have CI X2 is we have 0 0.2 moles of this due to the balance of calcium and sodium X is 0 0.5. Okay, this is okay. So the surface can release calcium, can, can, but actually it doesn't mean that it, it will do okay can read calcium and sodium okay and end and other cations can be inserted into them to the surface as well okay so we save that save that and then we go to our app okay so our app our humble app is aquifer dot hatari labs dot com we log in okay you have to need to you need to install to insert your account okay Great, so we create a new project that it will be ION and this is exchange. Okay, the I remember I recommend that the that the a folder name should be a 
a small num a small name okay not a huge one okay and without uh, without the spaces and characters okay we did we go to Frixi and then we open the file that we have created ion exchange.in so this is what you have inserted okay you go to setup you go you select the Frixi select and then you run it okay if everything that you have done is all right so it will say end of run okay then we compile and then we see the raw output okay so well the raw output is similar so but in the batch react okay let's see okay so you have the alkalinity and all of these alkalinity solve these are the onion, onions and these are the cations okay so the electrical balance is 1.59 so it's well balanced okay uh, uh, then Okay, and then we have the okay. Then we have the the saturation index. Okay, and this is the change composition. Okay, just to rem just to tell you, Okay, at the beginning there was sodium and calcium, but now there is magnesium. Okay, so there is magnesium on the surface, so that means that this magnesium actually comes from the solution. So the solution will have less magnesium. Let's talk about the the sodium. At the beginning there was 500 millimoles. But now there is only 366. So this the surface has released sodium. Okay. And about calcium, the solution at the beginning has 0 0.2 and now it has or 200 millimoles and now it has 180 millimoles. So it also has released calcium. So the cal okay, the magnesium that has entered actually has been replaced by sodium and calcium. Okay, so when we see the composition of calcium, at the beginning there was 10 millimoles and now is 29 millimoles. Okay, and of sodium at the beginning was 80 millimoles and now is 215 millimoles. Okay, so this is the increase of the in the concentration of calcium and sodium due to the ion exchange. However, about the magnesium. Okay, at the beginning there was 111 millimoles, 111 millimoles, and now we have just 27 millimoles. Okay, the about the sulfur is the same. The pH has increased a little bit, and the error is around 1.19. Okay, so let's see a little bit about the in the solution, the saturation. Okay, so and then I can repeat this in another. A screen and then, yeah okay so uh, at the beginning the saturation index was really low okay and it was unsaturated from H2S and O2 okay but let's see after the the surface complex the after the ion exchange so we have as oversaturation a little bit of okay so there are positive numbers here of anhydride arabonite and calcite okay and then we have undersaturated respect with respect of uh, ammonia okay and the is really undersaturated with respect of dissolved oxygen okay so that is the this simple well it's simple as it could be simple because actually can be pretty much uh, complicated okay but we hope that you can uh, use it and you find it useful and then you can uh, follow this tutorial okay we are from Hattari Labs what is Hattari Labs? Hattari Labs is an online platform to know of knowledge sharing in groundwater resource in ground in modeling okay we have several diplomas okay that are the most complete programs to learn SWAT model muse and flow pipe certified okay then we have 
courses, okay, and then we have as well a, a webinars, okay, where you can join our free webinars, okay, just to remember that by buying our diplomas and courses, you are supporting our research. Hope that you have a great day and see you in coming tutorials.